Atelier Sophie, the alchemist of the mysterious book Japanese, Sophie no Atori tilde Busi yi na ben no lianjin shushi tilde, Hepburn, Sophie no Atori tilde fushigi na hon no renkanjitsushi tilde is a 2015 Japanese role-playing video game developed by Gust Co., limited for the PlayStation 3 only in Japan, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita only as digital download and Microsoft Windows. It is the 17th main game in the Atelier series and the first game of the mysterious storyline, as well as the debut of Koei Tecmo taking over publishing rights for Western regions in place of Nis America. <laughs> Gameplay The game features a completely reformed worldview from earlier titles within the series, in addition to a new alchemy-centric system. Sophie is able to obtain ideas for recipes from activities such as harvesting, exploring, battling, or from events, and these ideas are used as a basis of improving her knowledge of alchemy. When she performs alchemy, the player is presented with various predetermined shapes representing the ingredients used, and arranges each shape on a puzzle board that represents the cauldron. This process involves visual trial and error, and if the shapes are arranged perfectly, the player receives a bonus. The materials selected affect the quality of the item synthesized. This system is intended to offer a high degree of freedom based on the player's own playstyle. Once the player gathers the required ingredients, the alchemy process involves a five-step process which consists of selecting a cauldron, applying ingredients, arranging shapes to receive bonuses, reviewing the bonuses acquired, and finally selecting which bonuses the player intends to keep. After crafting, the player is able to progress the story, in addition to equipping up to four categories of items using the Doll Make feature. The Doll Make feature allows the player to freely customize Plakta using costume items crafted by the player via alchemy. As the number of items crafted via alchemy increases, the possible customization options widen. The game's new weather system affects how the game world changes based on the current time and weather, for example, items receive shop discounts and specific types of enemies appear at certain times and under certain conditions. Plot <inaudible> 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 The game is set in the small town of Kirchen Bell, a location with a warm atmosphere and occasional rainfall, during the dawning era of alchemy prior to it becoming a widespread art. Within the outskirts lies an atelier studio run solely by a girl named Sophie, who has a mysterious power that allows her to combine items together to form entirely different items. Without a mentor or reference guide to teach her, her alchemy attempts repeatedly fail time and time again. One day, however, she comes across a mysterious book that moves and talks by its own free will. Sophie's goal is to restore the book's memories and its former human form. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Sophie Nguyen Muller. Voiced by Yuka Isaka, Japanese, Christine Marie Cabanos, English. The protagonist of the game, who is an alchemist that runs her own atelier studio. Although she is popular and bright, she is also sloppy and is terrible at housework. Plakta. Voiced by Yuka Aguchi, Japanese, Ryan Bartley, English. A silver haired girl with amnesia, who is originally an old book from the atelier's bookshelf. Plakta teaches Sophie alchemy, and as more recipes are written within her, she regains her memories. The player can customize her appearance via synthesized costumes using the game's doll make feature, Oscar Belma. Voiced by Seichiro Yamashita, Japanese, Eric Scott Kimura, English. A greengrocer's son who has a passion for plants. Although he is lazy and physically unfit, he has an optimistic personality and the unusual ability to hear the voices of plants. He is also knowledgeable about grass and flowers, Monica Elmenreich. Voiced by Aya Suzaki, Japanese, Erika Lindbeck, English. A talented woman born to a well respected family who excels at swordsmanship and her studies. As Sophie's childhood friend, she often looks after her and scolds her. She has a serious personality and prioritizes politeness, though she enjoys singing, corn area. Voiced by Yui Kondo, Japanese, Brianna Nikoboka, English. An alchemist girl who works as a volume seller, and has the special ability of being able to replicate things, at the expense of shrinking her own body size, Harold Siemens. 
voiced by Tarasuke Shingaki Japanese David Vincent English a clocksmith who prefers making guns over repairing watches he has a sarcastic personality Horst Basler voiced by Yoji Weda Japanese Mark Derazon English an old man in charge of the Kerhen Bell Cafe which operates as a bar in the evening he is responsible for brokering requests and shares information with Sophie Leon Voiced by Mayumi Izuka, Japanese, Erika Mendez, English. A tailor who fights with a spear and uses jamming items, Julio Sebald Leidenschaft. Voiced by Genki Okawa, Japanese, Robbie Damon, English. A young knight from the country of Adarat studying alchemy, Fritz Weisberg. Voiced by Kenyu Horiuchi, Japanese, Keith Silverstein, English. A former mercenary who now performs puppet shows during his travels as a doll maker. He uses dual swords in combat, Makale Mikureto voiced by, Sachi Matsumoto Japanese, Brian Sidor English A young boy with an interest in alchemy who can see into the true nature of things, Atomina Voiced by, Hina Kino Japanese, Reba Burr English A young girl who is often silent. She accompanies Makale, Tess Heitzman Voiced by, Sayaka Nakaya Japanese, Reba Burr English the simple-minded and troublesome showgirl for the Kirchen Bell Café, Logics. Logi. Fiscario. Voiced by, Kaito Ishikawa, Japanese, Jason Baker, English. A blacksmith who provides assistance to Sophie by crafting equipment for the party, he is based on a character of the same name from the Dusk series. <laughs> Topic. Development. The game was first announced to the public through pre-publication previews of Weekly Famitsu and within the 593rd volume of Dengeki PlayStation, and is directed by series director Yoshito Okamura. Prior to the game's official reveal, trademarks for the names, Sofi no Atori, and Busi Yi na Ben no Lianjin Shushi, had been filed by Koei Tecmo on May 20, 2015. The character designs are illustrated by Yugen, an illustrator from Chiba Prefecture who has prior worked on Bravely Default, alongside Noko from Saitama Prefecture who has previously illustrated for Kankol, Kageru, Setting Sail. Yoshito Okamura states that the choice of experimenting with two illustrators aims at creating a mysterious image for the game's setting and allows people with different artistic directions to design different characters which provides greater significance to the character designs. This is the first game in the series to use multiple artists. Musicians involved in production for the game's opening, ending and insert songs include Rarutia, Amy, Haruka Shimotsuki, Tsukiko, Okazaki Anna, and Tinwald Music. The game, along with the other initial social gust game, Knights of Azure, experienced delays in release, with Atelier Sophie's delay being graphics quality enhancement. Topic. Reception The game received a Famitsu review score of 29 40ths across all platforms. The game sold a total of 68,106 physical retail copies across all three console platforms within the first week of release in Japan. Koei Tecmo stated the game to have sold 170,000 units in Japan, Asia alone in their late 2016 report, making it the most sold single-release Atelier games on the continent in the franchise's history. <laughs>